All right, friends, Alf, you ready for this? We have got something a little bit different today. I've never done a video like this. It's going to be a live reaction to another sports card video. And of course, I had to choose sports card radio. Okay, we are back to explain part of the good old boy system in the hobby. No, 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 no. So sit back and relax. I'm going to watch it and analyze it and react in real time. Before I get started, huge thanks to today's video sponsor, ComC.com. 35 plus million cards in the database. Hockey cards, baseball cards, basketball cards. All cards. I actually, speaking of football cards, found this Drew Brees on there not too long ago. Just hanging out. Picked it up. An SP Authentic second year. It's numbered to 50. They're not super easy to find. And that one's in a PSA 10. Got it at a good price on ComC. Make sure you check out my links down below to start your ComC journey today. All right, Frank, can we turn the camera around to get this thing rolling? Frank said your name. Okay. Thank you. All right, Frank, are we ready? Do we have everything pulled up on your end? Let's see. Can we share this thing? Do we have it? I think we've got it. All right, so we have a sports card radio video pulled up from a couple of months ago. I have watched this one, but I thought it would be good to just go back, watch something fresh, and react to it as if I haven't seen it in a few months, which I have not seen this in a few months. All right, let's see if we can get this thing fired up. Are we ready? Here we go. Here's Ryan. Breaker Blaze sports cards have pulled not Breaker Blaze. Not one, not two, not three, but four huge prism one-of-one one one rookie cards just in the last few days. Oh, I remember this. Four Prism One of Ones, the Black Finites, in one week from Blaze Sports Cards. That's pretty incredible. Are there fresh concerns that loaded boxes are being handed out to certain break? Loaded boxes. We will examine. I got to be honest, my nipples look really bad on camera. <laughs> Speaking of breaks, one breaker <laughs> awesome. will enter you into a giveaway. The one thing that I love about Sports Card Radio, what Ryan does, is he has is masterful with transitions and slipping in edits. He's got clips that are great that he slips in here. If you write a negative review about price comparison website break comp, is it fair or foul to be going after people trying to offer transparency to customers and collectors? Let's investigate. Vibes. And a next. It's all about the vibes. 19 year old card shop owner and his employee were in their hobby store cleaning cards with the Kurtz card care juice. And they posted it all on YouTube with card juicing so widely accepted today by America's youth. Will the old farts who are against card cleaning and alteration be swept under the rug? I really hope not. That's another topic that uh, we see eye to eye on myself at Sports Card Radio. The whole cleaning, the juicing ridiculousness sooner rather than later clear all that and more clear on this edition of sports card radio is my stuff that i consider altering is like the ones where it's like when you're like adding to the card or cutting off no no that's altering but like i think like steaming it or smoking like soaking it in water for 24 hours and then letting it dry for 20 don't do it man four hours how does like, that even work it gets the creases out of it we should totally try that. I'm down to try it. That's, that's, that's a YouTube video right there. Okay, we heard from Tops this week, and they said they hired an outside audit firm, KPMG, to look at the process of producing sports cards. And if it was possible, some breakers were getting fed loaded boxes. Well, it turns out the KPMG guys didn't actually look into if breakers got loaded boxes. The mm -hmm. audit only confirmed the fact that Tops could randomize the process, not that the process is actually random when specific products get made. Sort of an important caveat. That's a huge caveat. <laughs> That's an absolutely huge caveat. So basically the consulting company just saying that it is possible that Tops is able to randomize their distribution. That's it. That's it. So that that's what they that's what they found out. That's what they identified. That's that's funny. That's not content. Well, over on the Panini. That's not content. In the America side of things, they barely ever say a word to you guys, let alone send an auditor in to see if any hanky panky is going on. Cater to a, a younger audience. <laughs> so when popular sports card group breaker Bless Sports Cards hit four Prism 101 rookie cards in the matter of days of some key players, no less, it certainly garnered some attention. <laughs> Blaze pulled one of one rookie cards of Tyrese Maxey, LaMelo Ball, Anthony Edwards, and just yesterday, the one of one Nebula, Victor Webb, and Yama. Pulling any one of these cards would be a massive achievement. Hitting all four in the matter of days is almost unbelievable. 
So I like the way that Ryan's voice inflection kind of goes up and down. It reminds me of the guy from Unsolved Mysteries, the old 80s show. If you don't know what I'm talking about, just Google it. Unsolved Mysteries. Funny. You'll recall that <laughs> other breakers have gone on similar streaks, but it's usually with products that are not as mass produced as the Prism set is. Backyard breaks would seemingly hit all the big cards out of Flawless, but that's a product with a much smaller print run than something like Prism. It yeah. makes what Blez did all that much more remarkable. I don't know if I should start an investigation or just tell you guys to go over to Blood Sports Cards and buy into their breaks. And that's usually a lot of the reaction when breakers get this sort of pushback. It's always, hey, you got to come. That Hey, this just shows that we're getting all the good stuff, so make sure to buy into our breaks. Right. There it is. Shirts off. The Hobby Positivity <laughs> crew will tell you that this loaded box stuff is all a conspiracy theory and tinfoil hat stuff. I'd check if those same people trying to tamp down this stuff also want to sell you boxes or break spots too. And this, I'm, this is church preach preach. Cause man, so many of these folks that are talking, they've got their channel, they got their podcast and they also are breakers and they sell product. So yeah, of course they love the new product. Of course they do. Magically they love all the new products. Chances are they have a financial incentive to keep you believing Everything is on the up and up. And sprinkle on some self-care and wellness Ooh. on top of that. So do breakers get loaded boxes? I have no idea. But as long as there is a perception that they do or they might, this hobby will have to continue to deal with the conversation about it. I was one that predicted the market was going to boom. Speaking of breakers, one breaker who goes by the Break Club 3.0 is mad at price comparison website BreakCop and is entering people into a contest who write a negative review about the website on Instagram. If you are not aware, Break Comp is sort of like a Priceline or Kayak where you can see what all the breakers are charging for a specific product. That is a Tesla. Tesla. The Break Club 3.0 perhaps took issue with where they rank amongst other breakers and posted his complaint to Instagram. Then the Break Club took to Facebook where he does have 2,300 members and said he'd enter anyone into a contest for $100 who left a negative review about Break Comp. That's drama. This type. That's drama. Mojo. My God. Type of tactic is nothing new for people who try to provide transparency in this space. For example, how many times have people threatened to sue Sports Card Radio? You are not the person that I have ever thought about suing. I think it's fair for people to criticize what we say and do on this channel. I think it's fair for people to criticize Break Comp if they don't like the website. But to offer people an incentive to leave a negative review, I think if someone like Break Club 3.0 isn't careful, you're opening up the possibility of your business being bombarded by negative reviews. Seems like a breaker who had a bunch of bad reviews would be harder to shake off than a free website with some. So be careful what you wish for Break Club 3.0 and others who try this type of tactic. The gun could certainly be turned around and pointed at you just as easily. It's stocked in California. A couple people stocked in California. People emailed me this clip of a 19 year old card shop owner and probably somebody who works for him cleaning cards with a Kurtz card care juice directly in their store. A couple of things. First of all, it's pretty impressive to start a business, really any business at age 19. Anything that happens, whether he has success or not, will be a great learning experience for this young man. He's probably going to go on and have success and do great things in his life. Another point, we don't know what these guys were going to do with these cards. If they want to rub down their cards, paint happy trees on them. Beautiful tree. I think a <laughs> beautiful tree been consistent with this. Go right ahead and juice away. Sending these cards to PSA could be risky. We saw two weeks ago how PSA deactivated a bunch of cards that were juiced. TiffanyCards.com, shout out. I was tagged on that tweet as well. Juiced with the Kurtz sauce. Also, if you go to sell them, there are some people who may devalue cards that are rubbed with some kind of substance. Yeah, pretty much every single collector on earth. I can't think of anybody that is a long-term holder that is going to pay full price if they know that it's been rubbed down or juiced or a card has been altered or you know soaked or anything. I, I just, I haven't met that person yet. So I agree here. Period. End of story. That's just the reality for some of the people who buy cards. At some point, all of the grading companies need to hit this head on as it's a very polarizing topic in the industry today. I think it would. Too many people think this is okay. It's, it's nuts. It's absolutely nuts when you see polls online and you see, I mean, the fact that it's not like five to 10% or four card cleaning, the fact that it's like 40, 50% is insanity.
be interesting if one of these grading companies said they were going to grade and accept cards that had been rubbed in the Kurtz juice. Then you guys might see how the market really feels about cards that have been dipped in juice. But until these grading companies get their together, join us every Thursday at 5.30 p.m. where we will go live, take calls from fans and haters and spread hobby positivity and negativity far and wide. And we hope to see you there. Tell you what, let's do. Fleer, 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 fleer. All right, so that was the end of the sports card radio video. If you have never seen one before, for many of my viewers, you have seen it. I don't know if you saw that one in particular, but I thought that was a good one. They hit on a couple of different topics that I, I agree wholeheartedly on. And then the card cleaning thing, also not a huge fan of it. Um, so anyway, let me know if you like this. If you want me to do more of the live reaction style videos, I've never really done one like this before. And I thought, you know what? I should start this with a sports card radio video and we'll go from there. And when you look at a $4 or $5 little beanie baby that, oh, these are selling for $65 now, or these are $2,000 for the really rare ones. Um, and the kids loved them. So we decided to start collecting beanie babies i think that's how it all started all right my friends stay healthy stay awesome and i will talk to you again later